Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and I'm feeling back at home here on the good old Nintendo Entertainment System Unit. And today we, of course, are playing Micro Machines, which are a thing that I remember as a kid. I never really had Micro Machines. Truthfully, I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, what were they? They were just like smaller. They were like extra small uh, little cars, right? Like I remember you could get cars. You get little cars, little metal cars. Micro Machines were just extra small, right? I didn't really play with cars. I was more into like Ninja Turtles and that kind of stuff. Action figures. Um... Even as a kid, I had Return of the Jedi Star Wars figures. I think my dad bought them for me because he wanted them, but I totally loved growing up with them. I had Army Ants. I've talked about those before. Um, what other things? I don't know, just action figures. I mean, Ninja Turtles were the big thing for me. Uh, and then later it was like Aliens and Terminator action figures and stuff. Anyway, Micro Machines, let's go ahead and play it. We have played Micro Machines 2 on this channel before. I actually had to double check because when I saw the Micro Machines was up to play, I was like, wait a minute, didn't we already do this? But I guess we played number two. So now we're going back to the OG. We're going to do a one player challenge. I like how you can pick a kid Walter, Dwayne, Joel. Joel has a tattered shirt. It looks like he's from an abused household. Bonnie, Mike, Emilio, Jethro. And these are weird names, man. Like Jethro, that is a spider. Unusual name. Also, I didn't know too many Walters growing up. I don't know. I'll be Dwayne. Why not? Woohoo! Oh, yeah, his little animation, too. All right, we have a qual qualifying race. We're just, they're not even starting with cars. They're like, cars are yesterday's news, kid. You get to start as a friggin' boat. What do you think of that? So this is a lot like RC Pro-Am, which I did play as a, a kid. It's an NES game. Um, only obviously, so I guess the fun thing about Micro Machines is that it's sort of like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It's like you're playing... You know, you're racing in, um, who do you want to race? Walter. He's so happy he got picked. Um, and Chen. There we go. Why not? Um, I guess it's sort of like a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids thing where you're, like, racing around this, like, boat, but you're in, like, a bathtub, right? So the obstacles are, like, a rubber ducky and a bar of soap and stuff. Um, now we're, like, racing over Cheerios on the breakfast table. It's kind of funny. Woo, we're like jumping over like the breakfast plate. There's an orange. It's pretty funny. Oh. Don't let the uh, honey spot slow you down. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the appeal of, of cars was necessarily. I mean, I there were people who I know who really liked them. But again, I, I was always more drawn to the action figure kind of stuff. So I don't know. Well, here, here's the question to you guys. What, what was cooler as a kid? Action figures or cars or both. I don't know. I mean, it's not it's not a competition necessarily not like if you like uh, Action figures you're not allowed to like cars or something. We can like it all folks Ooh, I kind of like went I went out of the uh, lanes there, but I still won Chen is crying because he's dead last the breakfast bends Isn't the bend something you get when you come up? You're scuba diving and you ascend too quickly, you get the bends. It's like vomiting and like your eyes pop out or something, I don't know. Definitely you don't want the breakfast bends. Desktop drop off. Yeah, I kind of remember these. I, I almost want to go back to the uh, Micro Machines 2 video now. Whoa, God! Because it, it has been a while, guys. I don't 100% remember. Jeez, this is a lot harder. Whoa, God, I'm like off the the thing. Whoa! I feel like we've played this before, damn it. <laughs> Maybe when I played number two, I also played number one. Um, and I didn't know, oh God, realize it was in the book. It's possible. So, I don't know. Maybe this is a repeat for us. It, it was like five years ago, though, so we'll count it as new content. You guys will never know. I am actually very curious if anybody who's watching this current video had watched my Micro Machines uh, 2 video from several years ago. 
Um, kind of just curious generally if there are people who've carried the torch of uh, watching my videos that long. Oh god. I don't even know what place I'm in. Oh jeez, I think I took a sh the wrong turn! Does this count? It, no, it blew me up. I was trying not to go over the edge that I knew was coming up, which is right there. Oh, we have a whole other lap. Okay, well I'm at least second if I just pass two cars, so I just gotta hold it together. I'll probably be okay. It's actually surprisingly challenging, honestly. Like these sports cars, oh god, are just sliding all over the place. Come on, go, 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 before the other cars are car- What is this? That was the longest delay ever. But I guess the other cars didn't show up. Ugh, I hate gunning it <laughs> towards what I am pretty sure is an, a ledge, but I can't see it. I have no distance vision. Yeah, the first place guy was like miles ahead of me. But we still placed, baby, we still qualified. The micro machine. I shouldn't have let Spider play. He's too good. Oh, we won a... That's what looks like a little future car or something. I don't know what that is. Oil Can Alley. The Warriors. Oh, where it's sort of like a, a muscle car or something. Where are we racing anyway? It feels like we're in a parking lot now. Oh, God. Didn't know you could blow up. So I guess you can take damage, apparently. Get out of here. It reminds me a bit of uh, Super Off-Road, how like eventually the beige car would just like go nuts and be like far better than all the others and would like start lapping you and stuff. think. The trick is, honestly, it's like you don't want to over-accelerate. Like, control is almost better than, like, speed. Truthfully. Because, like, when you wipe out, you lose so much, uh, progress that it's better to go a little slower and not bounce off walls like I just did there, or hit things like I did there, or hit that. Oh, God. Can't believe the beige guy hasn't passed me yet. Or oh, hit that. I'm just hitting everything now. So much for control, right? Oh, my nose is itchy. Oh, God, I got an itch. It's the worst. Come on. Yes. Ah, fucking itch. I feel like my body gets itchy at the most inopportune moments. Like... It's like knowing that I couldn't put the controller down made me itchy. Oh, somebody got booted, man. Oh, we gotta pick a whole- all right, Cherry, you're in. She's like, woohoo! Playing with the big boys. My micro machines. Is that it? Oh, do I pick someone else? Let me start. It's like, what's happening? Monster trucks, man. The sandy straits. Oh, we're playing in the sandbox now. Oh man, did you guys know any kids who had sandboxes when you were kids? I- we never had one. We, my parents would never- have, I know my parents, they never would have sprung for a sandbox. But, I'm pretty sure there was like a kid or two... ...that I knew from school who had one. Cause I do remember playing in them as a kid occasionally. Oh Jesus! See, now we're last. Like, by a lot. Holy shit, can you respawn us? It's like you make one mistake and they're like, you must pay for it dearly. Oh, Jesus. We might be going out this race. This is a bad one for us. Um, but yeah, sandboxes. I feel like they were cool slash gross. <laughs> they were definitely cool. It was cool to like, you know, put all your action figures, eh, into the sandboxes. And, uh, have little adventures and stuff. But, oh god! They were gross because they would get, uh, especially after rain and stuff, they get very, like, muddy and mucky and bugs could get in them and all sorts of stuff. Jesus. Doing awful. 
I feel like the water hazards are brutal. I feel like in games, there are like a few hazards that are just like... You know... Like, like awful. Like, uh... Spikes, pits, and water. Um... Like, think about in Mario, right? Like, if you- if you're, like, fully powered up... Man, the race is already over. There's no point in finishing it. If you're fully powered up, you can take, like, two or three hits before you're dead. But even if you're fully powered up, if you fall in a pit, you're just gone. You know, or like in Mega Man. Mega Man can take so many hits, he has a life bar, right? It slowly gets whittled down, but you touch one spike and it's game over. Those, like, insta-kills in video games are really tough. And I feel like that it's not like an insta kill if you go in the water here, but I mean like it definitely puts you down. It, it takes you out of commission. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna make a concerted effort. Oh, come on! <laughs> that it, it's like you do a turn and then there's a jump and you have to be very. Precise about it, and there's another turn with water. All right. Okay, now we're kind of. Once we kind of hit this straightaway, there's really no more like water dangers for a while. Then we do some jumps. And then we do this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Turn and accelerate. All right, we got that. Just gotta avoid this other water death trap. It's a very dangerous little snaky section of the track. But in theory now... Woohoo! Woohoo! I know I've talked about this in other videos, but playing NES games and like, you know, trying to get better at them and stuff, it just reminds me of when I was a kid, after school, playing at friends' houses. Like, we'd all just sit around the TV, and... Especially if a friend had like like if somebody brought this over and none of us had played it before We would all just take turns trying to get as far as we could and it's like that would be our evening You know like until our moms came to pick us up. We would all just be there sitting around uh, ooh, Beat the clock uh, We'd all just be sitting around Trying whatever new game there was and there were so many NES games. I did that with pal was one prisoner of war I think I even play oh, I was like where's the road? I think I even played that on my channel at one point. And I remember, like, playing that at a friend's house. And it was one of those things. And it's like, there, there'd be certain people who were better at some levels than others. So it's like, you get to a hard level. And it'd be like, oh, you know, give it to, you know, give it to, to Jerry or whatever. And, oh my god, this is brutal. Look at this. How can you do that at speed? Nobody can. That's impossible. Oh my god. I'm like stuck on a leaf! Uh, go! <laughs> no bonus. I mean, that level was brutal, man. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Um... I feel like the- one of the crowd pleasers always was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. The arcade game. No matter how many times we beat that game, every time it was available at someone's house, we would always sit down and play it together. I feel like consistent- What the- What? What? Wait, what happened there? I just flew off the table and I exploded. Um, I feel like consistently in that game, we could always get to the Arctic level. Pretty often we could get to the Samurai level with the, like, uh, tiger- the white tiger paintings that came to life. Oh god. Um, and then less consistently was, could we get to the Technodrome, um, and then, like, beat Shredder and stuff like that. I think these days I could probably can more consistently do it, but, I mean, it is still a hard game. It's not an easy game by any stretch. Whoa, Jesus, man. Okay, so this is basically, it's like the same themed course that we've seen already, but it's, like, much harder. So we're probably gonna start to see similar themed tracks what we've already got, but now it's like they've amped the difficulty up a bit. Aha! Eat it, beige guy. Whoa. Get back here. Whoa. Oh no, I'm stuck! I'm stuck on a waffle! Oh, and I... 
Fell off a table, man. I feel like I was about to place. I think if this is the last lap, we're done. Okay, we got one more chance to get stuff together. I just wish you had, like, more- if, if I had greater viewing distance, I could do so much better. These early top-down racers, it really is sort of like a memory trick. Because you can't really react properly. You don't even have an overhead map to show you, like, uh, you know, what's coming up. So you kind of have to, like, know- oh, this guy's lapping me! Jesus. You have to just know what's coming up, and if you don't, then you can't do it, you know? So it's like, I feel like these- these early racers were less about racing and were more about memorizing. Oh wait, that guy was fourth? Wait, green was first? I didn't even- I- I thought we were definitely getting lapped. Oh, okay. But we qualify by some miracle. Ooh, Formula One. The cue ball circuit. Ooh. Racing on a pool... Pool, uh, table. Which is cool. Whoa! That was deceptive. It was like, here, go up here, and then no indication of which way to turn! And then we're dead again. This might be the end for us. Although I think we have two lives, so I'll have another shot at this. It's like, so deadly, man. Where am I supposed to turn or go? I have no idea. I'm just driving around the edge of the pool table now. I'm pretty sure I missed a turn back there. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure. Oh no, am I supposed to go this way now? This is a crazy track. Whoa. Oh, and then... Am I supposed to go in this hole? Oh, I am. Never seen that, but I wouldn't have expected that. Okay. Then we go like this. I wonder if there's shortcuts. Like, could I have gone in that hole prematurely? The fact that I'm racing like a Formula One car on this pool table is throwing me off. Whoa, shit! Should have predicted that turn. For some reason, I thought there was a middle hole coming up, but I think that's right over here. There's the middle hole. It's the ledges that get you. It'll get ya. And then we go here... Oh, come on! OH, COME ON! Why would it make me face that way? Yeah, we've- I, I don't even know where the other cars are. They're, like, finished the race. They're totally done. It'd be cool if when you hit the balls, if they, like, got bounced around or something. But, uh, no, they're just completely stationary. Oh, jeez, I'm hitting everything. Oh, fuck. This- this one is hard, man. This, it's a lot harder than it looks. Maybe if I get another shot, I could do something with it? Oh, jeez. These turns are brutal, too. If you're going too fast, you're just done. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can cheat here. I wanna see if I can fall in this hole. Is it possible? Doesn't even let you. Nah, they're on to ya. Get in there! Oh, it looked like it might have worked! <laughs> okay, if we get one more shot, I wanna try that. One life lost. I mean, that track- this track is so hard, I don't know if I could... legit race it. Jeez, so. Oh. Although I am kind of holding my own a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can cheat this. I swear it's possible. Okay. Yes! Oh, it didn't take me fucking anywhere! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, I just- I think I threw the race away. Ah, oh, shit. I wish you could just- Oh! Fuck! I keep expecting it to spawn me facing up, and it spawns me facing down. There's, there's a whole- there's a whole, uh, tragedy of errors going on here. Damn. How sick would it be if you could cheat and actually get in that hole? When you're not supposed to? They clearly thought of it. Okay, here's another question. Where the hell does this hole go? This has gotta go somewhere, right? Fucking nowhere. <laughs> 
This spits you back out. All right. Well, we've definitely lost this. Well, Micro Machines here was one of the games in the book. A thousand video games you just play before you die. I think it's safe to say that uh, it's got the old school Nintendo hard to it. Although, I think it's it's doable. It's doable. You know, like, I, I as I say, I played a lot of RC Pro-Am growing up. That was a good game on the NES. It's similar to this. You're racing RC cars, but you can pick up uh, power-ups, sort of like Super Off-Road, so you can get better tires, better engines, and this and that. You're, there's also speed boosts on the course, kind of like Mario Kart. You hit a speed boost, and it makes you go faster. Or Wipeout. Or not Wipeout. Yeah, Wipeout, I think, did it. Um... But that one, you could also uh, get weapons to shoot one another. So again, sort of like Mario Kart and the turtle shells and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, that one was one where it's like, uh, once it got far enough into the races, if you weren't actively destroying your opponents by shooting them, they would eventually just all pass you. So you had to fight very aggressively. Um... And then another game that this reminds me of is Super Off-Road, which is... This is very, very similar to Super Off-Road, except this scrolls around, where Super Off-Road was like a stationary screen. Um, and Super Off-Road had upgrades and stuff. This doesn't, so... I think this is, like, a, a pretty decent uh, racing game in the, from the early NES catalog. Um, as a kid, I definitely would have messed around with this and um, tried to memorize some of the tracks. I mean, we got pretty far for just playing it once. And as a kid, you never played an NES game once because of the way the way Nintendo worked as a kid is you didn't have a lot of games. You know, nowadays, anybody can go on Steam, go on, like, wait for, like, a sale, and you can spend, like, $11 and walk away with, like, 23 games. You know, like, it, it's ridiculous. Like, how many video games are out there? There's free demos this, and there's emulators that, and this, and then there's endless games out there for kids. At, when I was a kid, it was like, I had like Mario, I had like Track and Field 2, I had like uh, Contra, no actually I didn't have Contra, I loved Contra, we never had it. You know what I mean? We had a very limited catalog, so if somebody had an NES game you had never played before, it didn't matter if you didn't even really like it, you played the crap out of it and got good at it, or at least that's what we did, so... Um, I definitely would have played this one as a kid. It, I, I don't think it's a bad game at all. It's, it definitely feels like an earlier NES game. It's got the high difficulty. It is a little simple, but it sort of has that Honey, I Shrunk the Kids uh, racing element to it, which is kind of interesting and unique. So, Micro Machines, did you guys play with these things growing up? Let me know in the comments down below, and let me know if you played this NES game, and if you did, what you thought of it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did... I will see you in the next one. Hopefully you'll tune back in. So till next time, friends, you take care of yourselves and peace.